Hi, I'm Laura Fulford, creator of the Genesis 3 system. And first of all, thank you for taking the time to check out my website and for being curious enough to want to know more. From as young as I can remember, I was fat. I yo-yo dieted in elementary school, but not enough to escape being the fat kid. I started counting points in seventh grade. I yo-yoed my way all the way through high school, college, I was up and down pretty much like the express elevator at the Empire State Building in tourist season. I know I judged myself more harshly than anyone else, probably, but believe me, people do judge you when it comes to your weight. Regardless of whether it's right or wrong, it's just a fact, it happens. So as I got on up into my 30s, I started to take some bigger steps to figure this thing out. I trained for and ran two marathons, and I learned some very, very important things. Running does not a thin person make. I had liposuction. And that worked for a while. And here's why. Something that painful and that expensive makes a big impression on what you put in your mouth until the impression wears off. So in the postseason of, of my brief success due to plastic surgery, I once again faced myself in the mirror with the same problem I still had never solved. So in my early 40s, I, I reached this place of not caring so much what I thought other people were thinking, and this freed up the capacity to start asking myself some very good questions. Why can't I lose weight? It makes no sense. I have a degree in exercise science, for crying out loud. I exercise hours and hours and hours every week. Well, those kinds of things are painful to address. And during all this time, I had been a believer in Christ, but I don't remember praying about my weight problem. It's like I almost didn't want to bring it up in front of God. If anyone has the power to fix this, it's God. And I didn't realize I was more interested in God reducing my waist size than I was in God himself. I was hoping for the problem to be solved for me, for the solution to be applied to me, on me, anything. But here's what my real problems were. I ate more than my body needed. I exercised more than my body needed, but not enough to compensate for how much I was eating. And I didn't want to address or admit that I had an eating problem. The pleasure of food and obsession with my never good enough appearance held me hostage all my life. I found that there's only one way to get free, and that is the gospel. The gospel's not about freedom to do whatever you want. It's about the power of Christ freeing you from your natural self. So I had to give something up, something that I loved, which was my sense of entitlement to pleasure and the reward of food. And I had to give up something I desired, and that was to be thin. And I had to give this up for someone that I love, and that's the person of Jesus Christ. Once I realized where I was stuck, it was easy to ask God the right question. Lord, you see my captors here, will you rescue me? And he said, yes. If my story speaks to you, and you would like to see if I can help you on your weight loss story, email me at the address below. Let's set up a time to talk, no obligation, and certainly no judgment. Just a conversation to get you where you need to go. Abundant blessings, and thank you for listening to my story.